Thank you everyone for having me today here in our community call. Uh, 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 grateful to be a part of this PNP community call today. Uh, very little about me. I'm Sandeep Angra based out of India and um, I'm, I have been working as an associate technical consultant at Argano, which is a Microsoft partner company. Uh, to talk on my skill set, uh, I heavily do uh, I, I heavily do Power Automate uh, uh, on a daily basis. Uh, and the other tools I cover on the Power Platform are Copilot Studio, Power Apps, and Power BI. And also, very recently, been transitioned to the Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Uh, so I, I also do this uh, ERP uh, development as well. So here are my social media handles, and uh, uh, here are very awesome people I would like to connect with you all. Without ado, without any ado, let me uh, jump into the topic today, uh, which I will be covering uh, on enhancing the user experience in Copilot using Adaptive Cards. So as we all know, we have been uh, uh, living in the Copilot era today. After Microsoft has been announced uh, the Power Virtual Agents as the Copilot Studio, and even the Microsoft uh, termed the very own term of virtual agents and the uh, chatbots into the Copilots, there is a very high momentum for development of uh, the custom Copilots. Uh, even on uh, not being of the, the co-pilots, the out-of-the-box co-pilots everywhere on Dynamics Power Platform, but also the custom co-pilots momentum has also been uh, uh, on, a, on a greater note. So in this context, uh, we would like to have a, a very uh, a deep look over the enhancing the user experience because how, that's how we would uh, actually uh, make our user to adopt it to the co-pilots. So let's see what we have uh, out-of-the-box uh, in the co-pilot studio. Oh, the uh, the functionality and the capabilities of using and enhancing the user experience. For that, we would be having uh, we'll be using uh, different tools today. One will be uh, the Adaptive Card Designer, uh, which is a, a exclusive portal for designing the adaptive cards. And then uh, we'll be looking at the Copilot Studio, where we actually uh, go and go ahead and. Uh, have this adaptive cards in the Copilot Studio so that making it the um, making it available to the Copilots that we host on the different platforms for be it Teams, be it Outlook, or any other platform that Copilot Studio supports. Uh, uh, we would be building Copilots in Copilot Studio, as you all know. So, using the same Copilot Studio, we'll be using this adaptive card functionality uh, to make up the user experience and make up all this uh, data looking in into our cards. But how how do uh, Power Automate fit into this context? Let's see in a demonstration how we can also leverage the power of uh, the Power Automate uh, uh, within the context of the Adaptive Cards and Copilot Studio. Let me quickly jump into the uh, jump into my browser where you all can see now uh, my browser screen, which points to the towards the Adaptive Cards designer. So here is uh, here is the designer. Um, as I said. Uh, we, we would be designing the adaptive cards here in the adaptive card designer, which is powered by the Microsoft again. And um, as you can see, uh, you might have seen this interface or have uh, already been worked with. Uh, but this is uh, the interface where we would build adaptive cards. If you if you see on the left hand side navigation, we all have this elements, which is pretty much everything is a drag and drop uh, so that we can build UI rich components to just have a quick description about the adaptive cards. These are a lightweight UI component frame uh, UI. Uh, uh, component elements that we can sharing uh, with, that we can share between platforms. Today uh, there is a, su a support of a good number of platforms, be it uh, Viva Connections, My Microsoft Teams, or Cortana, any other things. Uh, so for these hosts, uh, and these are called adaptive cards because uh, wherever we host these copilots, these adaptive cards will adapt to the native user interface, like uh, whatever the user interface that is being uh, uh, implemented by particular host, it adapts to that user interface so that the host application will decide how your adaptive card looks like. Let's say it is bot framework web chat, which is uh, our Copilot Studio uh, default interface. Let's say if we are building out this uh, Copilot into your teams and deploy the, it into the teams, this is how it looks like. So it adapts to the how we how we see our messages, how we see our cards or any other media in our teams. It it will be adapted uh, to that interface, to the, to that UI framework. One thing to uh, point. Uh, uh, point here is the target version different uh, platforms or the host applications will be uh, supporting different versions of the uh, adaptive cards uh, if we can say example of the teams application Teams supports the version of 1.5 show and ensure that you uh, select the right version or the supported version of the adaptive cards 
So uh, I think pretty much you understand how we will building how we'll be building adaptive cards in the inter uh, in this interface. Uh, just go to the new card and pick up pick it up the elements that you would need on your card and pretty much same like the very simple uh, building an adaptive card. But the point of our interest today is this card payload editor because this is how we will share the card payload editor and make it visible to the host applications through this card payload uh, that is generated over here. Let's say we'll place a text block over the adaptive card. It generates the uh, the card payload automatically uh, at, according to the design that we designed in this adaptive card. Let's place an image. It it will be uh, placing the image component, and once we had the URL to the image, that we would be it would be generating over here. So this is when this is how we design adaptive cards. Once we design uh, all the payload that's related to the uh, to the design that we designed uh, generates over here in the JSON format. This is our point of interest and this is uh, end of the day we would need from the adaptive card designer. And then how would we how would we actually use this payload into the copilot studio to display it as an adaptive card like how it looks like this. So let me go to the my copilot studio screen and this is one of the this is one of the bot that I have built a uh, very simple one, which is a, uh, an assistant for the admins or system admins. Uh, they can view the open IT requests which are sitting in the SharePoint. Uh, let's say uh, a copilot that will uh, have some buttons over the home screen uh, or the home uh, adaptive card, which will opens up another card that will populates different uh, uh, different open uh, IT requests into a simple card. So it consolidates into a card and it displays uh, into the AUI rich card. So how do we implement this in the Copilot Studio? Let's take this example. So as you all know, there are different conversation parts and uh, in a Copilot when we are dealing with Copilots or chatbots. So we'll be implementing this through topics, which are uh, different conversation parts can be implemented through topics, as you all know. And using a topic, let's say uh, I'm using the conversation start topic. Where is it? Let me click on this. It redirects to the right topic, and this is how uh, we'll be uh, uh, placing out the adaptive card in the topic. So, because uh, we we had a, a right actions here today in the Copilot Studio. Earlier, we would have to take the support of Bot Framework Composer to build out these adaptive cards. There's no support to the adaptive cards here in the. Uh, uh, Copilot Studio when it was called Power Virtual Agents. So it is only when it uh, the the Power Virtual Agent had the uh, support to the new authoring canvas. Uh, the support to the adaptive cards was added. So here today we can add adaptive cards uh, as we can uh, as we can design the des adaptive card designer and we can freely uh, transform in into the into the adaptive cards into the Copilot Studio. So there are two types of actions in the Copilot Studio related to the adaptive cards. One is asking with adaptive card and other as sending a message with an adaptive card. I would like to uh, make a, a make a clear difference between both of them. So one is asking with adaptive cards. If we see uh, the home card, when I refresh this test copilot, it will again uh, point me to the home card. This is the home card and this is the conversation start topic. So it asks me uh, which of the service that I need. So when I click on the open request uh, button, uh, it actually gives me another card. So if we closely look into this card, this card actually asking some of the user input. So whenever we seek, uh, we we require for a user input from a user, be it uh, filling out a form, be it clicking on a button, it it we are capturing the intent of the user. So when capturing the intent of the user or user input, we would be using the ask with adaptive card action so that we can ask questions. We can also ask simple questions which we can if we uh, imagine if we had a, a series of question. Uh, without the support of the adaptive cards, we might need to add a series of uh, uh, ask a question nodes, and we need to uh, ask questions separately one after one, uh, one after the other. With the support of adaptive cards, as you can see in the designer, we could also have the support of the input elements, which is input text, date, and all. So we can simply create a simple form on an adaptive card and ask a series of questions uh, with this action. So ask an adaptive card will actually put it all this. Uh, user information and it will also give you automatic variables for what are all the inputs that are available on your card. So here I have a series of buttons. When I click, it captures which of the button title uh, that the user clicked and based on the user uh, intent, it captures the intent and we can navigate to, uh, to the right conversation path. So this is how we can implement this ask with adaptive cards. 
let's see how do I implemented this adaptive card. So this is a simple card. It, it doesn't actually uh, ask any user input and all. Once a button is clicked, it redirects to the other topic and it will just display a simple card. So that I used a message node. How do a message node support a adaptive card? Once a message node is added, go to the add button and click on the adaptive card button. And it again opens up your adaptive card wizard and where it it asks for the JSON payload of the card. But how do I actually generate it? Because when when we see in this card, it, it is uh, compiling different inputs from a SharePoint list or beat any other data source, beat data source, beat any third party connectors. Uh, we have a support for in the Power Automate. So here is where Power Automate comes into picture where uh, we can compile or we can get the dynamic data and we can plug it into the adaptive card. So before doing that, uh, one uh, quick tip uh, is whenever you are dealing with the array of data or whenever you are dealing with the uh, array of records that are to be compiled into a single adaptive card, the, f the first tip or the first uh, uh, go to thing you need to do is go to the adaptive card designer. You build out a card, uh, a simple card with the uh, with the hard coded values, not with the dynamic data, but just hard coded the values or the static data and all. You design the whatever idea that you have in mind, you put it in the designer and design the card. And once you design the card, you just need to analyze or uh, just uh, have a view over the card payload editor to kind of understand what was the structure of the JSON. Once you understand the structure of the J JSON, you would be segregating what is the part of what is the part that is not changing on the adaptive card and the other part which is changing like whatever the part of the adaptive card that is being populated dynamically through our data sources. Once you determine that you are good to go with the topic and you are good to go with the power automate flow. What do our power automate flow actually do? Whatever I have said it, it implements all uh, everything. So here the heavy lifting is done by the power automate because we can also do a uh, area of records or compile it with the adaptive card into the copilot studio directly. But uh, we can also uh, use the Power Automate because anyhow we will be taking the help of Power Automate to get the dynamic data from the external sources or even with the Microsoft sources. So when we are using the Power Automate within the same power uh, within the same flow, we can build out the adaptive cut and send it out to the Copilot Studio. So here in our Power Automate, uh, let me navigate you through each step. So what I did is I just created a, a variable, uh, a string variable and put it uh, almost uh, the first part of the adaptive card uh, card payload. How do I determine this should be going to the first part? As I said, what I determine which of the portion in the card payload is static. So here in my example, the logo, the header and the column headers are all static and then the portion, the, the latter portion is what populated by the records that is coming from our uh, external data sources. So uh, I determined that portion of the adaptive card and plugged into this adaptive card uh, aware adaptive card string variable and then let's have those actions that are needed for bringing up our data into the power automate from external sources or any other data sources and once we get the array of data we will be plugging it uh, again into the for each loop where we would uh, increment through one of the each of the record each of the record and then just plug it in uh, plug the uh, the dynamic variables into the, the, the dynamic content into the other part of the po other portion of the adaptive card what is the other portion of the adaptive card when we designed we will be determining which of the portion is being filled by them uh, being filled with the other data source so copy that uh, that payload which is responsible for this record and just go ahead and remove the, the hard-coded values and just plug in the the dynamic content that is coming from the data source pretty much simple that's uh, that's the way and then we'll finally after the for each loop we'll be closing the adaptive card with the last uh, last two brackets so this is uh, almost the very similar template that we can keep on using whenever we are dealing with the array of records even um, even if your design is complex but there might be uh, some of the portion that is being static on your adaptive card and the portion that is being uh, repeating and that is being dynamically being filled in so pretty much this template use can be useful for almost uh, any of those cases once the closing of the adaptive card is done we'll just return this adaptive card as a variable to the copilot and then we can just as I like whenever the flow returns uh, it adds uh, the automatic auto output variable and we can just refer that variable into our 
adaptive guide action as i said uh, earlier just hit on the send message and add the adaptive card uh, uh, ad adaptive card type of this message and then we are not building out the json here so we just we just need to refer that variable that is coming from our power automate flow for that we just need to switch to the formula and we just need to write an expression that topic dot We just need to refer the adaptive card variable that is coming from our flow, which will give us the adaptive card over here. That's how uh, we'll be dealing with the uh, array of records. And this is how uh, adaptive cards can be implemented in Copilot Studio. So to do reiterate, there are two actions. One is to uh, asking questions with an adaptive card and also the uh, asking like uh, showing out the messages or showing out uh, simple messages or also dynamically populating array of records. So that's pretty much simple with my presentation. I had one last slide which will uh, portray the sa same thing whenever we are dealing with the uh, array of records. This is how we will templatize or we will uh, visualize actually visualize how do we uh, build out adaptive cards in the Power Automate and send it out to the Copilot Studio. Thank you for uh, listening to me and bearing with me uh, this uh, few minutes for, me for this presentation. And thank you for the opportunity again. Thank you, everyone.